My friends, we are back here again at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England. We're hanging out this glorious weekend. It's Sunday night, about 10.30 local time. And I've got a killer ESP SV Flying V to show you today. Thanks for following, guys. We're, we're over 200,000 views, blown past 800 subscribers. And if you're new to this channel, join the family. Click like, click subscribe. You're going to love it. Ask anybody in the comments. We get crazy guitars on this channel every day. I'm buying from all over the world. I get them here, slap them right here on my studio kitchen table, and we go to town showing you all the up-close, nitty-gritty details, guys. And then in the comments, we answer all the questions we can. The community gets together. They chat about it. They give any info they have. And we all live and learn. All right? So this guitar is an SV white with black pinstripes, very much Alexi Leho style with the unfinished neck. Now what I love, you've probably already seen the bling here, check out these abalone dot inlays. I love abalone, um, can't get enough of it. I had a Jackson with shark fin abalone inlays that was nuts, it was a Randy Rhodes. You can see that on this channel. And we just had an ESP Edwards jazz bass with a really cool kind of vintage turquoise finish with abalone block inlays that blew me away. On this bad boy, we've got an EMG 81 with a 60 as well. I've seen that combo a few times lately. Chrome original Floyd Rose. You can see a little bit has flaked off as is quite common on the original models. A little bit of surface rust on the, the blocks and the screws. That you can just take a toothbrush and uh, like a little bit of abrasive compound and go to town on that. We'll clean up right away. You've got your three toggles position switch for your two pickups and a volume knob. That's all you need, baby. All the tone you're going to get comes from this guitar, but of course, you're going to have your pedals, your amp, your, uh, your if you're recording, you're going to have your preamp, your EQ, compressors, all that jazz. So, you know, as far as I'm concerned, the simpler, the better. Occam's razor when you're on stage, less stuff to run into and mess up and you know, screw around with. Let's keep it simple, everybody. Very nice chrome hardware up here. This is all looking lovely. ESP on the headstock. And guys, you're not going to believe it. No chip on the tip. No chip on the tip. Must be a clone. Couldn't possibly be a real one. I think it's almost mandatory that you have a chip at the edge of your headstock. The horns, too, by the way. Check those bad boys out. We've got that there. And that there, there's a little bit of, uh, I don't know what it is, a little bit of red residue on the surface here. I was rubbing it earlier and most of it came off. So don't really know what that is, but uh, chrome input jack. Yep, there's your strap button. And let's flip this bad boy over. I'm going to be very gentle with one hand. I think I'm going to invent a new guitar pad, everybody. Everyone asks me, where'd you get this? Where'd you get this? And I've probably sold a ton for these guys. They haven't even said thank you. They probably don't even know I exist. And uh, I'm starting to run out of real estate here with this pad. So I'm thinking, all right, and don't tell anybody. It's just between me and you. But maybe get one of these with like some extensions that just tuck underneath and can flip out if you've got a bigger one. You know, like a pad under here, it flips in, flip it out. And then for this part, I don't know what we can do. Like, I love that th these are separate. I think the Fender one has uh, this is just fixed in place. But, you know, if you've got a super long instrument or a funky tabletop, you need to move it around. That's really cool. But we could get something almost like those guitar grip hands, something like really cool to have for that. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe coming to a guitar store near you will be the Keith Gannon. Essex Recording Studios uh, workstation pad. We'll see. If you want me to do that, post in the comments. Let me know how much you pay for it, and then maybe I'll get to work. Ah! All right, so we've got this unfinished neck here. If we can just get in focus. Come on, Samsung Galaxy 9 Plus. There we are. Very nice neck. 
It's got five piece. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Five piece neck. And usually what you have is you have a three piece here, and then you have a fourth and a fifth there. I don't know what the rationale is behind that. Maybe some of our woodworking geniuses can comment. Like, why the necessity for the five, the one and the one there? I know everybody brags about it. Like, oh, the more pieces, the better. It seems to be the common consensus. But I just never really understood. I think on the earlier ones, I've seen just the three pieces. But it looks cool. I'll tell you that much. And it plays great. You've got your Goto tuners. Don't know if I'm pronouncing those right. Goto. Goto. Don't know. And then you can see the SS05. So this is a 2005 standard series. It's really cool how they do this. So it's almost like it's very 3D looking how this sits. It doesn't look like a sticker on top of the wood. It's kind of like there's a, a layer of laminate or something kind of running over it. And, um, and then this and then another layer on top of it. It's a little bit 3D-ish. Same thing with the, uh, the serial number, kind of. Yeah. And then, I don't know if ESP were the first to, to do it this way. I think they're the only ones I've seen. But it's nice how they have the, have it kind of come to a V point versus just a straight line. And then on the back here, you've got this nice beveled cutaway beveled edges here, which is cool because you don't have to do it. You know, nobody looks at the back of the guitar, but it is cool when they take the extra effort to still make it look sharp on the back. You've got your control covers, and I think that about wraps it up, guys. You know exactly what this looks like in person now. Very good condition. There's not much to complain about. And the case is huge. It's killer. I'm going to have to spend a bunch of money shipping this to you. That's all right, guys. If you want to buy this guitar, it is on our website, www.essexrecordingstudios.com. That's where all the guitars are. They're hosted by our good buddies at Reverb. Hopefully, they're your good buddies, too, because you've been using them. They're awesome. They don't pay me a dime, but I can't say enough good things about them, and I will continue to spread the word. Check out the case. You've got these things. ESP, they're the only brand I know that, that ships out with these kind of fret protectors. Pretty cool. And then you got a little bit of storage. And here, is there any money in there? No money. Ah, there never is. But we've got, let's see, the extra tremolo spring, some Allen keys, and then your uh, strap locks. Sweet. Cool, guys. Well, that'll do her for tonight. I'm going to... Call it an early night at only 10.30 on a Sunday and go watch some Netflix. You guys watching any cool series lately? We've been watching, uh, just watch that new one with, uh, what, Biggie Smalls and Tupac where they're going back and investigating that. Watched a few episodes of that. Watching the, what is it? Is it The Departed? Not the, I keep calling it that. The Leftovers. Been watching that too on Netflix. So if you're watching anything interesting or have any recommendations, let me know. I've seen like practically everything. One of the perks from working from home. All right, guys. Well, good night. Thanks for hanging out with me on a Sunday. If you're watching this on another day, well, thanks for hanging out with me on that day. Sweet. See you soon with more guitar videos coming your way. Bye, guys.